Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about a new set. Hopefully a few of us can get it. I'm pretty excited. It is a zombie planeswalker collection. So at San Diego Comic Con for the past few years, they've given out a exclusive called the Black on Black Planeswalkers, which looked nice, but I always felt like they were very difficult. It reminded me a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! Ghost Rares. They look pretty cool and everyone knows that they are valuable, but at the same time, I don't want to play with them ever because they don't visually look appealing to me personally. Now, these are actually much better. They have color on them. The Lily Honor looks excellent. The other Planeswalkers look okay. I'll probably buy it for just the Liliana. It's pretty nice. I mean, you do get all five of your Planeswalkers. Um, there is a time where you can buy it online from Wizard of the Coast or Hasbro's website where all the unsold Comic-Con exclusives are sold on the website. So if you're very lucky, you can get snag one of these for without having to go to San Diego Comic-Con. However, they will probably be very valuable. I don't know what the price will start out at. Uh, not the price at the Comic-Con, because that will be a set price, and uh, not the price online, but what the price on TCG Player will be when people get copies of this. Is it worth buying? Yeah, it's kind of unique. I like that it does have different artwork, and if you had to choose between artwork, different artwork, and... Perhaps, you know, like a black on black plane talker with the same artwork. I would always pick the different artwork. The, I mean, the Liliana looks very good and the other ones look like zombies. So very awesome set. Hopefully a few of us can get it. Definitely will be expensive to say the least. And I'm looking, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing what they have the next time. Also, something interesting is because there's no core set, what they did was they combined Nissa, Chandra, um, from different sets. So I like that concept where you have planeswalkers across multiple sets combined. You have Anastrad, you have Oath of the Gate Watts, you have uh, you have various um, sets. Gideons from Battle for Zendikar, uh, Liliana's from Eldritch Moon. So pretty cool concept. Jace is from Shadows over Anastrad of having four different sets being. Uh, planeswalkers from four different sets being in one collection i think i also like that a lot better than just having core set right so what do you guys think about it what price would you pay for this collection what price would you buy it what price would you sell it at and are you interested at all about buying it or will you go to san diego comic-con in that case pick me up one right anyway bye guys